can't tell you guys how many times I read stories about women in the news and wish I could invite them over for a celebratory drink or an advice session or a serious talking to. If only I had a way of talking to people directly or some kind of platform. Oh wait, I do, I host this television show. Welcome to my very first edition of Hey Girl. <laughs> hey girl, I'd be doing this segment a disservice if I didn't give a special shout out to one of the rising stars in the Republican Party, Ms. Mia Love. Hey girl, right here. Congratulations on winning the GOP nomination with 78% of the vote to run for an open seat in Utah's 4th District. 78% everybody, you were Utah's first black female mayor and without a doubt, I'm sure you'll win November's election to become the first black conservative female elected to Congress. Hey girl, this is so major. There are only 23 Republican women in Congress right now. So when I see women moving, moving up the political ladder, I've gotta give love, get it, ha ha? Thanks Mia for moving. <laughs> the GOP in the right direction. Megan's not going to like this, Megan's but I hope she doesn't vote with the rest of the Republicans to disenfranchise <laughs> African Americans by restricting voting rights across the country. Boom! She's going to find herself in a very interesting I, place. She's the first black. I'm like, you, you know all these things I said, you don't give to. I, no, I think it's amazing. Thanks, but thanks just killing saying, my vibe. Just you know, I'm not trying to kill your vibe, but <laughs> a black Mormon from Utah, this is like the equivalent of finding Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> So you're the, just baffled because it's a black Mormon woman? A black Mormon from Utah. Yeah. <laughs> Though, can I just say one thing? I saw her speech in 2012, and she really, I mean, all, all things aside of her being the first black Mormon, you know, all things are saying, she actually is incredibly impressive and incredibly well-spoken, and she's very inspiring on a whole bunch of different levels, and our politics align in a lot of ways. So do you side with Megan or do you side with Sal when it comes to the change in face of the GOP? She says her. Let us know in the comments. Like this video, raise a glass of your own, and you got one, and click on any of our other videos for more Take Part Live.